Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Travis Christie. Hey, it's clear skies tonight and smooth sailing for the days to come as temperatures rise well on up into the 50s, 60s, and 70s. We'll probably even see a few of those numbers in the Rio Grande Valley as the week wears on. As far as what you're going to be dealing with over the next seven days, take a good look because it's going to be mild even in Santa Fe with plenty of sunshine. Highs nearing 70 by the middle of the week. We'll probably hit 70 degrees on Tuesday in Albuquerque. Thank you, Travis. What was a convicted sex offender doing so close to a park filled with little boys playing baseball? 41 year old Raymond Peshlakai, also known as Roy Munger, appeared before a judge today. Albuquerque police arrested him yesterday at Graves Park, just north of Interstate 40. Police say he was drinking beer just 25 yards away from a group of 10 to 15 year old boys playing baseball. According to the state's sex offender website, Peshlakai was convicted of child molestation and attempted child molestation back in 1994. Police arrested him for failing to register as a sex offender. In fact, he hadn't been registered since November of last year. He is still in jail tonight on a $5,000 bond. Two arrests to report from last night's Halloween sex offender operation here in Bernalillo County. Probation! Sheriff's deputies joined state probation and parole officers and deputy U.S. Marshals in a county-wide operation to keep trick-or-treaters safe and make sure sex offenders played by the rules. According to deputies, 28-year-old Joey Dominic Hernandez was not playing by the rules. Hernandez was on probation for a 2002 rape conviction. Deputies say he was found passing out candy last night at his home in northwest Albuquerque. He was arrested for violating his probation. Deputies also arrested a man for speeding through a neighborhood. Deputies say he was not only speeding, but he also had drugs in his car. He was arrested for reckless driving and drug possession. A close call to report in Santa Fe. State police confirm a tourist train crashed into a car at about 3.45 this afternoon at the intersection of Old Galisteo Road and Rabbit Road near I-25 in St. Francis. State police say the crash happened after a woman driving a Range Rover failed to yield to the train. She was going 40, 40 miles an hour, the train only 10 miles an hour. The driver of the SUV complained of injuries, but we are told no one on the train was hurt. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.